welcome to talk with sharma in this video we are going to discuss about uh, internationalization so what is basically an internationalization internationalization is a process that makes your uh, application uh, to be workable or adoptable uh, in different languages and regions uh, without doing any source code changes so uh, if we say that um, suppose that we are using that application in india and uh, someone else is using the same application in france or in italy or in china so uh, in all these other countries there is a different language they are using their local language chinese and in their local language french uh, they are using so how without doing any code changes our application will uh, uh, show the messages and uh, uh, tags of the application in chinese language when the chinese person is using in china and indian person when uh, showing in hindi when they are using in uh, india and uh, suppose the person in us how he, uh, it will automatically convert in the tags and uh, messages into uh, uh, english so that functionality basically provided by the internationalization so okay so let's just start uh, so for this uh, actually i have to add one dependency any I have taken a previous videos uh, project, simple Java uh, Spring Boot, Spring Boot project. Basically, having one main class, one controller class, and uh, application dot properties. Okay, so let's just start. Okay, so here I am going to add one dependency. Why I am using theme list? Basically, I am mostrating with her by using some Spring MVC concept. So that is required at theme list to support those concepts. View resolver actually I am using to show this demonstration. So for that I have to use this. Uh, that's it for this uh, form dot XML changes and. Uh, then I need to so here uh, basically in resources I need to make a few message dot properties so I'm going to create two files one is using a default level messages dot properties is having name specific to region so this could be like um, messages under score region so for region I am just using it as uh, um, of course path dot properties Just open the browser. Okay. I am going to use Google Translate. 
Here I'm going to decide the language. Language would be English. I'm taking it in English and then to translate that word in Hindi. Welcome to them. I am taking this message as default message in application so I am putting this message ok let me just try one thing and just put it here so that I don't need to open ok then or welcome to demo I'm just typing this express job job and take this message also Fine. so I get to these two messages I am going to change the name of this file because now I am I am going to use this as India Now I got the messages. Now I have to put those messages in file. So what I'm trying to do, this I'm saying that welcome dot message. Pasting this part like this. This is this message. The key should be same in all the regional related message files. I'm putting this in as this and using this here. To save this as e to a. That's it. Okay. Now, to show these, I have to create one. Um, HTML file. So I am going to create one HTML file named cal.html uh, Type as HTML HTML and taking here head define. I am 
just defining the message format. Body now. See, body and then to define one H two H two. I'm just defining one text header. Whatever the message key we are defined over here, okay. we have to define the message key over here. Something like hash basis and what is the message key? This is the message key and from our message. So I'm putting that thing over here. That's it. My things I have to do this. My HTML file is ready. Now I have to create one service for that. So for that, I am just going to create one controller called View Controller. And with this controller, I am just defining as annotating this one as at the red controller. Push mapping and here whatever the file name I am defining HTML file that file name need to be defined as URI so I am defining slash locate so define locate.html so I am defining locate and here I am just saying public string and method name will also be defined like this and here I am just returning some random message uh, here I am returning uh, same file name okay so view would be resolved by this locale This file is also ready. Now, what else is required? There is a one more thing is required. Basically, we have to uh, define the local resolver. So, we need to define one interceptor class, which is basically having some local resolver code. One interceptor which will intercept this code intercept this request and according to the region convert the messages so for that i am going to define one class called internationalization demo Here I am going to extend this with the wave MVC configuration adapter. Oh, now this is asking. Need 
to the Dash configuration so that it will be loaded as green. This is not auto, okay. That's why it is giving it a wave. And we see that the C, this one is there. Yeah, this one is there. Wave and we see configurer adapter. Now here I have to define one local resolver B. So I'm just defining as B public local resolver. Resolver method and let me define the B name should be local resolver. I'm defining this part here. I need to just import this tag also. Now, here I need to define session. Local resolver new. Created. Now I need to set it which one will be the default local. So we need to set, yeah, this. this I need to set as default local. So This and then I need to return this. Session local resolver. So this bin is completed. Now I have to define one more bin that is called local change resolver. So let me just quickly define that one also. Local change interceptor. So this will be just copy paste this and simplify this quickly so that I don't need to make. Okay, now I have to define the method. Set parameter name, and I am saying here parameter name is language, and I am just returning this local change interceptor from here. Now I have created this local change interceptor. I need to register this local change interceptor also, right? So there is a one method here, which is basically called as I think 
this and interceptor yeah, this this way I need to override this I'm just removing this quickly taking this and I just think of add interceptor and here I am calling this one So that's it for this class. My class is ready for configuration. So what I have done now till uh, I have added one dependency, thinly dependency home file. Then I have created two messages file. One is for India, one is for default one. And then I have created one HTML file, locale.html. Then I have created one controller called view controller. And then I have created one international HTML. So I think I did all the things. Let me okay. Let me first try to run that. Let's see that what happens. Started at nine zero nine one two. So let's try to hit this service. Browser. Open HTTP. Then double slash. Open host. Then nine zero nine one. Slash. Now the new service view resolver service is something like this. Local. Okay. Now uh, whatever we have mentioned in our message dot file messages dot property file right this has been printed now i am going to call with language specific so i am passing this parameter as i n see now message gets changed so this way uh, we can implement the internationalization and uh, make our uh, application more regional specific uh, and globally accessible so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel comment out and also press the bell icon so that uh, next video notification you will get thank you for watching